and we have another little knife review coming at you this is going to be the marbles sunfish let's get into it So I just wanted to talk about this knife. Uh, Dan sent me this knife too. Uh, he sends me a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> just little things he knows I'm gonna like. This thing, however, is a tank. And as far as I can tell, they are relatively inexpensive. But in terms of like use, I think this thing could be a hard use knife. So if we get a measurement just on the knife closed, we're at for just over four inches and this thing is deceivingly big um, so if we deploy the knife and we get a full size we're right at seven inches so if I do a couple comparisons here I won't do a ton because you know this is one of those um, this is one of those pocket knives kind of almost like a utility knife but not so much it's got it's got two blades on it but like here next to the Ontario rat uh, model one and then I'll do just a couple more. Here is the Civi Vinox, pretty comparable to the Elementum. You can see there, so that's pretty close. And then I'll just throw my current carry up. This is the Concept uh, Shard, also, also from Dan. <laughs> oh man, anytime I get a box from Dan, it's like Christmas. I get all kinds of new gear. So this thing has been fun, and I've been playing with this and it is it is a tank so um let's let me get a weight on this real quick so you know that i'm not i'm not kidding when i say it's a tank uh let's see here so this knife is 6.6 6 ounces so if i weigh the rat model one 4.9 <laughs> And just just for a comparison, my current carry, the Concept Shard, there you go, 4.4. So yeah, this thing, tank. And I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. I, uh, I after, after I did that video of the unboxing and I was, or the, the mail time video, I was sitting there holding it. I was like, man, I like this. <laughs> uh, not like in a shameful, like, oh man, why do I like this so much? I just like it. It's heavy. Um, the blade, the blade is pretty nice. It is a polished finish. You probably, probably can't really tell. I got my grimy little fingerprints all over it. Um, there you go. So this is, this is a polished finish. This thing is, this thing is crazy awesome. Um, let me go ahead and get the other side out. Now with my, my big hands, I do have a hard time getting that second blade out. <laughs> Oh man. And that side, there we go. So this side is uh probably need to oil that. That's a, it's a little it's a little hard to get that side out. But here you go. Here's the whole thing in frame. And if you haven't noticed, you get your um stainless steel. They they call them they they're two different ones. So you have your spear point and then you have the pin blade. And they're both made out of 440A stainless, uh, polished, of course. So the polish is cool. And then while we have it open, we'll look on the inside. And a lot of this weight comes from, so this is bone. I did look it up on the website, this is bone. Your bolsters are nickel for the most part um, with silver stop pins, nickel silver stop pins. And then you have brass liners. So that is probably where a lot of the weight comes from. That is brass liners on the inside. And man, like I said, this thing is, this thing's built pretty rock solid. Like this, this would be a good work knife and they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, you could, I, I think like they, they come in a bunch of different variants, but you can pick these up for like 20 bucks. Like they're, they're not, they're not insanely expensive and they are fairly sharp. Both, both blades, um, try not to, guillotine my finger there um it feels it's kind of reminiscent of like a um uh 
uh, like I want to say a lock back, but that's that's not what I'm thinking. But um, I don't know. I haven't really done any kind of sharpening on this or anything yet. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if she's going to, yeah, okay, she will. Um, you know, not as, not as sharp as like the shard or anything, but we don't have any of like that crazy high end, like exotic steel or anything on this. And so this is a relatively inexpensive knife. I, I mean, very inexpensive. Um, and for what you're, for what you're getting on a blade like this, or, you know, a knife like this, the construction's great. You know, the, the blade steel isn't, you know, it's not anything super crazy, but everything else is really nice. So with like a blade steel like this, yeah, you're gonna wanna, you know, keep it oiled up, just kinda, kinda protect it a little bit more than you normally would um, for any of like your higher end knives. But that's, that's about it, man. Everything else is great. The weight's awesome. I like how it's a little bit oversized, so it fits nice in the hand. You've got a decently thick blade on the back, so you can get plenty of purchase here if you need to choke up. Um, now there is no kind of finger choil, so you need to be a little bit more careful there if you are choking up, because your finger will slide right onto that cutting edge, and then yeah, you might you might have a problem. <laughs> but that's you know that's one of those things where you just you be a little bit more careful if you're going to be like chopping wood. <laughs> you're probably not going to be chop chopping wood with this, but this would make like a good camping knife or throw it in your bag and just have it as like a backup, like work knife, like a beater knife, if you don't want to beat on something a little bit more premium. Uh, but everything's solid, man. Everything's nice and slim, or not slim, but nice and smooth. I don't see anything on here that's gonna catch my finger. See, everything looks good. You got some really nice, I'm just gonna call that jimping. It looks like jimping, so that you can get a nice little grip on there. And you can, you can move this blade fairly easy. The other one's the one that I'm gonna probably have to oil it or see what I can do to try to help it out a little bit. That one's a little tight, but aside from that, this thing's great. And he sent it in this little pouch. Uh, it says Olympus on it, so I don't think that it comes with the pouch, but it fits in this little pouch nicely. See, so this is what I've been doing with it. Just keep it in this pouch. And I've actually just been throwing it in my bag. So if I've got something at work that I'm gonna cut down or break down, I don't wanna use any of my any of my other knives on that I carry, then I'll, I'll pull this guy out and just go to town. <laughs> so yeah, man, uh, I would definitely say, look, look into these. I'm going to, I'm going to post some links down below. Uh, you should definitely check them out. They're relatively inexpensive and I, I, you know, I think they're pretty high quality actually. I, I really, I don't have a whole lot of complaints. So let me know what you think. Let me know if any about any of y'all have any of these or if there's other like alternatives to this brand too that I should try because this is, I, I don't even have a Victorinox yet. Like I, I don't have, I don't really have any of those types of knives. So I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of getting into them. I haven't really been able to find like a Victorinox or anything that I've been in love with yet, except for maybe the titanium one. And after holding one of these, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, maybe I should get me like a Swiss army knife. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed what you watched, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel and check back for future content. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll catch you on the next one.